I am going to show how can you use this data entry tool. So I am going to open this first. For the first time, you need to your map enable. So click enable content, and user credential will be open. User ID is admin by default, and password one two three. You can change it further. There are two options. First option is new hire, and second option is returning hire. If I want to new hire add, so click new hire here and so I am going to input some test message data. Last name is last last. So security number is your required validation like max number is nine nine numeric data and minimum nine numeric. If I use less than nine numeric data then I cannot insert anything. So social security number is not less than nine digit. So must you need to use nine digit number. Address is address is not eligible for special character or space. Okay. So you need to address input properly. CD. The Texas value is by default, so here you can edit this or change anything. Zip code is numeric 5 character and material status you can select drop down number dependencies trans also you can select drop down list edit something like a contract ok for this test based data click add new button and uh, something like to be alert do you want to separate data okay yes import letter successfully import letter successfully so if i want to hire this to it open all records there are two types of sheet sheet one and sheet two uh, all our data in your master sheet sheet one and another sheet two will be stored here okay from this stage press ctrl w at a time then the form reopen and if you want to add new data from returning here so click returning here and search option is here uh, there are two data here if i click okay similar data will show 99 similar data will show okay and data safe found from this this box so if you want to add or update or delete something here so click double click double click here and full details will be show here you can use add new then it will be stored in your master sheet and you, this data will be uh, data story will be current date like today date you can add it from calendar sheet calendar something like this and after inputting data it will be you formatted data automatically okay okay you can use update delete or something like add new if i click add new then what happen next okay add new again another data is stored open all records okay there is another data stored again control w if i want to delete something or update then change anything here and update if i if you want to delete this click delete here okay then clear button all are refreshing and refresh button the full form will refresh uh, download button uh, full master sheet if you need to do a download then click download here okay new hire sheet export successfully new local pc if i want to see okay master sheet successfully download and close it now and finally you can exit button here 
if you want to change a credential or drop down list so open all records and unhide the support sheet there are dynamically you can change it here and in drop down list you can change teams you can change here and contract as for it, this data form will be extra necessary okay that's all thank you i'm going to exit so click exit button so data the work will be closed